This is part 32 of JavaScript tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss window.onerror event in JavaScript. In general, we use try catch statement to catch errors in JavaScript. If an error is raised by a statement that is not inside a try catch block, the onerror event is fired. Assign a function to window.onerror event that you want to execute when an error is raised. The function that is associated as the event handler for the onerror event has three parameters message, URL, and line. Message parameter specifies the error message. URL specifies the location of the file where the error occurred and line specifies the line number where the error occurred. Let's look at an example now. Now to this on error event of the indoor object, we want to associate an event handler method. So we want this function to be executed when the on error event of the window object is raised. Now remember, this function receives three parameters, message, URL, and line. Now, we want to display the values that are present in these three parameters in a JavaScript alert. So let's go ahead and use alert function. So we want to display this word message and then the actual error message that is present in message parameter. And then we want to print a new line character using this escape sequence backslash n and then we want this word URL and then print the URL of the page where the error occurred and then another backslash and then the actual line where the error occurred and then let's return true from this function. So what is the significance of returning true from this function? Remember the old versions of Internet Explorer used to display JavaScript errors on the bottom right hand corner of the browser window. Now if you want to suppress those error messages then return true from this function otherwise return false. Now let's raise an error. I'm going to raise an error by calling a function that is not declared yet. So we don't have this non-existing function declared anywhere in our script. So now let's go ahead and run this. So when we run this, this function call is present. Um, it's not present inside a try catch block. So this is going to raise an exception. And uh, that gets bubbled up till the window object. And this event that is on error event is raised. And we have associated this function as the event handler for that event. So this function will be automatically executed. And we get the message URL and line number where the error occurred in JavaScript alert. So let's look at this in action. So notice that we get the message, uncaught reference error, non-existing function is not defined. And that's the URL of the page where the error occurred and that's the line number. Now if this method call is present inside a try catch block then you know the catch block is going to catch that exception so the exception will not be bubbled up until the window object so the on error event is not fired so this event handler method will not be executed and hence will not get the message in the alert. Let's look at that in action. So let's wrap this in a try block. and then catch the exception and then let's simply write the exception message to the document object notice that it says non-existing function is not defined that's the message but we don't get you know the error message URL and line number because this error is already caught by this catch block so it's not bubbled up till the window object that's why on error event is not fired and as a result this function is not executed so if the error is handled by a try catch statement then the on error event is not raised on error event is raised only when there is an unhandled exception. So the line that caused the exception, if it's not present inside a try block, then you know that unhandled exception will bubble up till the window object and then the on error event gets fired and as a result the function that is associated as the event handler for that event will be executed. 
on error event handler method can also be used with HTML elements. Let's look at an example. So let's include an image element here and let's specify the source for the image. Now I'm going to specify maybe some non-existing image dot jpg. Now if you look at our solution explorer notice that we don't have an image with that name so it's a non-existing image and then I'm going to use the on error attribute and then associate that with a function so let's specify a function let's actually remove this window dot on error and then let's give it a name let's call this image error handler and then let's associate this function with this event I'm going to remove all these parameters and then I'm simply going to alert a message here stating that there is a problem loading the image alright so this image does not exist so on error event gets fired as a result this method will be executed notice that it says there's a problem loading the image the image is not loaded on the other hand in case if we have an image with that name within our solution explorer this event will not be raised as a result the associated function will not be executed so you can also use the on error event handler method with HTML um, elements thank you for listening and have a great day